So, what are we going to do today, Zan? Same thing we do every week, Crow. Green. Try and take over the world. Wait, the that's another podcast. Hello again, and welcome to Polysaturated. I am one of your hosts, Crow. I'm here with... Zan? And... Jay. And today we are doing jealousy and compersion. So, in the words of Yolandi, jealousy makes you nasty. In your face. In your face. <laughs> 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 oh, so here's the thing. A lot of people from an outside perspective. Oh, wait, hold on. No, let's start with a definition. Jay uh, here ha has an amazing definition for the word compersion. Okay, for those of you who haven't heard it before, Jay, take it away. But, but, what? what are, are we talking about the J word? The, the J word is about to speak. She's about to drop this mic. So <laughs> I thought we were talking about jealousy, not Jay. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, let's let's get us let's get us situated here. So J is not the J word, right? Jealousy is the J word. Jealousy is the J word. But we're talking about J, right? J is going to talk about J and C. But j jealous is J jealousy? J is jealousy. So J is jealous? No, in fact, she's one of the least jealous people that I've met. Her 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 eyes are giving me that stop what you're doing right now. Look, y yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I have, folks. This is what I have. <laughs> Every day. How lucky am I? How did she get so lucky? <laughs> we um, don't know. Er, er, Heckle and Jekyll. Are, are we the ones that are lucky to be alive right now? We or? are. We okay. are totally lucky to be alive and alert and all of the things. I hey, wouldn't say we're alert. I, I woke Coffee. up above I woke up above ground. Um, yes. And not, did not kill me while I was sleeping. I woke up not on fire and not pregnant. I'm not doing that again. What? <laughs> uh... uh we need to have a discussion. <laughs> so, Jay, could you explain to all the normal people out there and all of the poly people, not the poly people aren't normal, just, okay. Would you explain to our listeners out there what compersion is for those who haven't heard the term before? Compersion is listed in the dictionary as the feeling of joy. Does anyone know what a dictionary is anymore? It's this book with papers that you look. It's in alphabetical order. Uh, anyway. Wait. You, you can see a picture of one online. Yeah. Anyway, these are ancient alien technology devices we used to use to look up words we didn't have the definition for. What are words again? Um, I, isn't that wait, things can, you make in your soup? Is there, kind of? is there an emoji of a dictionary? Ladies and gentlemen, if you hear a thumping sound, that would be me hitting my head on the desk. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> Okay, compersion, the feeling of joy associated with seeing two of one's sexual or romantic partners having a sexual or romantic relation between them coined as antonym of sexual or romantic jealousy. Sexual or romantic? I thought compersion was... That was jealousy or compersion? Well, if you were actually listening, <laughs> it would have told you that it is coined as the antonym of sexual or romantic jealousy the which is antonym. what i said the i'm antonym. sorry you were busy over there not she paying attention to totally, what we're doing but she's using big words so can you break it down to something a little we're, something you can understand we kind of basically it's the opposite of jealousy <laughs> for those that are mentally you know inept oh she is using big words today that's actually only a couple of letters zan but <laughs> <laughs> So it's basically being happy for your other partner's happiness. So if you're talking about compersion, it would be something like, I'm happy that you're happy. Yep. Uh, Seeing them happy makes you happy. So if they go out with their partner and if you guys are partners and your partner goes out with their other partner and you see that it's making them happy, you're happy for their happiness. But what if seeing your partner miserable makes you happy? That's I a don't whole nother podcast Is altogether. It, Zan, what does that feel like exactly? <laughs> I, you could explain that to us. I, uh, <laughs> I, 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 never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now contrary to popular belief, even poly people experience jealousy. You wouldn't think so based on our life and our ideals, but jealousy is not something that's specific to monogamous people or people who are even looking at the situation through their, to use a J term, their monaga goggles. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to patent that. Yes. That's going to go in the Funk and Wagnall Dictionary, giving my age, shutting up. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yes, even poly people experience 
Jealousy. Lies. Lies? Lies. What? Why? All lies. All lies? Pali people don't get jealous. Oh, they don't. Yes, they absolutely don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they don't. Yes, they don't. Yeah. Oh. That's hmm. how we do things now. Well, yeah. um, We're trying to be as clear as possible, folks. This is how we do. Clear as mud. Mm-hmm. Right. So, uh, well, I, I guess, you know, let me put myself out there a little bit. Mm-hmm. I get jealous. No. Yeah. Oh. And, and you know what was really weird Gasp. is that shock and all <sighs> you cannot see the look of shock on my face, but it's there. <gasps> I thought it was a normal look. <laughs> yeah, she does look shocked on a daily basis. She's with the two of us. Yeah, that's, that's uh, fair point. <sighs> Very fair point. When somebody I think who's my face got stuck that way. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So jealousy mm-hmm. um, makes you nasty in your face. <laughs> Uh, I I have been jealous before, and it, it's kind of kind of weird. And I f- thought that was your natural state. Jealous. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I I have been jealous of y'all too before. Mm. Actually, just recently. Really? Yeah, really. Damn. Uh, when I say recently, I mean like two nights ago. Yeah. So when Jay and I were watching uh, some music on YouTube the other day, and he was talking about going to a concert. Uh, well, not really a concert. It was a bar with people playing music. So technically a concert, yeah, something like that. So, and I was like, man, I really miss concerts because con- concerts are my ha- my hobby. I was like, I love going to concerts and I, I haven't do been, too. and I haven't been to one in like forever. And when I say forever, I've had this year, maybe in the past like six months of that, but like usually I go more often than that to watch live music. I awesome. thought the last one was in. Pulling Crow into the concert oh, loving. Yeah. I I thought the last one we went to was OTEP. Right. So that was in December. Oh, wow. So, so that was last year. Holy crap. So, yeah, it's been a while. Um, but Jay was talking about going to watch this uh, person play at a bar with uh, spoons and a steel guitar and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, I really miss that. It's like, last time I went to a concert, it was, it was Jay and Crow and uh, one of our daughters. And... I was like, man, I really, really miss this because it's something I, I love doing. And when Jay was talking to me, I was like, wow, we never really do that much anymore. You know, it was kind of our thing uh, to go out to concerts and whatnot. And I kind of miss that. So, yeah, jealousy is part of it, but it's all in how you deal with it. I can't remember. Oh, wow. That's, I didn't realize that. And I, when did you have that That was like last night. That was last night <laughs> you were having that conversation? No, we didn't have the conversation. It was just one of those things like I realized after the fact that oh. I felt jealous about that. Huh. And it wasn't until we started talking about this whole little podcast episode that I realized like, huh, that was a jealous moment wow. of mine. Wow. This is the first time I'm hearing that about that, folks. So, you know, communication is a thing that we do here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the C word. Okay, so take a, take a shot every time you say the word, like, polyamory says <laughs> word communication, if you feel like dying of alcohol poisoning. I mean, we could definitely work more of that into our future. I've mm-hmm. been looking at concerts and things, but, you know, that right. costs money. Well, I, I, I totally get it, but it was one of those things where I, I did for a moment feel the jealousy mm. because it was something that, you know, I, I miss doing and something that y'all did together Mm. so it was uh yeah so these things happen and Mm. it's just how you deal with it and the way you deal with it is through i'm gonna say it again am i communication communication you only have to take one shot for this communication (laughs) unless you already went through a fifth of vodka (laughs) (laughs) on the other side of that we have compersion. We do. Mm, I want to go back to what uh, Zan was saying. You have little things like that creep up on you, mm-hmm. and you don't realize it perhaps even at the time like he did. And so then when you do become aware of it, or sometimes the little things all pile up and you just kind of sweep them under the rug, and you're like, that's not a big deal. Um, but when you start to feel those little pangs, of the J word, jealousy, it's really important to talk about them. That way you can all work together to make sure that that person feels like their needs and wants are being met. And, and it's all about how you work together. And well, a lot of times you'll you'll notice in a poly situation that it's not some of the big things that will cause you to feel jealous. It, it could be little things like, you know, going to a concert or spending just spending time together or just... You name it. It's, it could be small things. A lot of people will think, well, it's sex that 
you'll feel jealous about and it could be it could be and, and it's not just sex it could just be intimate moments that you share with somebody else or your partner shares with somebody else that can cause jealousy in a poly situation yeah one thing that i method i like to practice to help stab off jealousy is you have to actively protect your own contentment kind of a thing where if uh, if doing something with a partner is special to you specifically you should always try to make sure that happens try to arrange things to keep it going don't rely on your partner to read your mind realize you have a deficiency and then step in because sometimes those deficiencies are kind of self-created wait 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 you're just talking about not reading minds right never never let them read your mind mm -hmm. well don't let them yeah They're, some of them are going to anyway regardless <laughs> so it, i don't know what you're talking about no but don't expect them to uh interpret your signals make sure that you mention it make sure that you mention wanting to do this thing with this person so that they know it's it's out there Mm -hmm. So if mm, seeing sunsets with your partner is your thing and it's been a couple of days and you're starting to feel a little bit some kind of way and they have their other partner and they got to see a sunset with them and now you're feeling a really underfulfilled. Jealousy is a sneaky bastard. Mm -hmm. Now, there could have been completely plausible explanations as to why you couldn't do it Tuesday and w or Wednesday or Thursday and then Friday was date night with their other person, with their other partner and it just so happened to co the time that they had to do it in was just so happened to coincide with the sunset so there it right. is and uh, you're not only are you not getting what is fuel for you but you're watching it go to someone else sort of like the concert thing not going to the concerts and now i have to hear about when you went to a concert right without me and there it is well you have to take the steps of saying okay well we're going to schedule the next day to do this do to this do thing. this thing we're going to make this a priority i'm going to keep asking for it you also have the times where and, and i've heard in what you know poly rules so to speak where uh some uh polycules have rules that they're not allowed to do something uh with another partner like this is our thing you're not doing that thing with somebody else and that can lead to bad things and we can go we can we can have a whole another poly uh, episode of rules and poly right coming soon <laughs> that, that and that, that that'll actually you know cause issues because some people say rules are made to be broken and uh, once you start setting rules and situations come up where you can't check in with your partner say hey look you know this is something that's coming up or something that can happen and you next thing you know you've done broken that rule that's the thing about rules that really they sound good and they sound like oh well let's make a rule so that this is protected sounds great mm -hmm. when you practice that rule it often will chafe and now you're creating division right and if it's not chafing then it's being broken which now we're creating division so it's almost a taunt when you make a rule we're going to make a rule to protect my heart in this mm -hmm. and we're going to make this rule to protect your heart in this well that's fine until it gets tested and generally speaking uh something that we'll say lots of times is if you have to have a rule you've already you're already doing something wrong oh you're already thinking about breaking the rule right that you, you have, have to, to have a rule somebody somebody's already going to do the thing against that rule that's why you're making it in the first place they already did that which causes jealousy right it's one of those things where generally speaking you don't want to start making laws to prevent jealousy i am the law yeah the best thing to do to prevent jealousy is not a thing you can't do anything to prevent jealousy find a new dream well in an article i was reading recently it's stated that some people claim to not feel jealousy mm -hmm. and yeah that's I'm what not, i thought i'm not sure how how much i agree with that but i could see if you were raised in a different environment maybe some lucky individuals who were raised in a completely open or polyamorous re you know relationship they their parents raised them that way i, c I guess i could see that where they were taught compersion where they were taught self self-fulfillment self-soothing yeah where they were taught all of those things and healthy coping mechanisms and things like that i guess i could see that as a possibility but in my i think in our experience just in general i think all of us have not seen a single person that we've dated or any kind of thing where there hasn't been jealousy on it yeah mm -hmm. or even and in discussing things with people around Mm -hmm. who are poly as well they're like oh yeah we feel jealousy or they're mm -hmm. in denial and then they explain a situation in which they were feeling a particular way and it's like um i hate to break it to you guys that's, that's jealousy, jealousy. 
And you know how we get rid of jealousy? Communication. Oh, oh that <laughs> word again. And that's that's really if you want to ex. Uh, the only thing you can do is when the jealousy demon is starting to possess you, you've got to drag the. Scr